Hi, this is Tab from FreeFly. In the last step, we balanced roll axis. Now we're going to move on to pan axis. Uh, the idea behind balancing pan axis is that ideally you would get everything below the pan motor uh, balanced centrally on an imaginary axis line going right through the center of the pan motor. So the, the mechanism whereby we can achieve that balance is this knuckle here, we can loosen it up and we can slide it fore and aft, and then we can also rotate it slightly to fine tune the pan balance. Um, I break the pan balancing into two steps because it's a little bit confusing at first. So if you break it into two things, it makes it a little more easy to digest. So the first step is figuring out if the camera needs to slide forwards or backwards. And to do that, I align the pan tube with the handle uh, and then I'll tip it and see which way it wants to go. So right now it wants to go aggressively, aggressively lens downhill, which means it's significantly nose heavy. So I will just slightly loosen the four M3 bolts that hold that pan knuckle. One important point is don't loosen those all the way or this whole assembly will fall off. Uh, just one or two turns is adequate to allow that to slide fore and aft. There's quite a few threads, but you just want to make sure to not loosen them all the way. I'll take a little bit of weight off the camera to make it easier to adjust. And then you just slide that pan knuckle backwards, get to a point where you think you're close, and then we'll recheck it. So note, we're still nose heavy, so I'm going to continue back ever so slightly, because we're very close now. Okay, so it's very good. It wants to stay. So we know we're good with four and a half because these two tubes are staying perfectly aligned. So I will slightly tighten these screws, because the next step we're going to adjust the rotation of this, and we need it to not slide four and a half while we're adjusting that rotation. So now what I'll do is rotate at 90 degrees so the lens is pointing out the front of the Movi, and I'll tip it and see which way it turns. So it turned that way. So I will pull this whole assembly, rotate it towards the direction it rotated. Recheck it. Okay, so it helped a, helped a little bit, but it still needs to go a little further. Still needs to go just a touch further. So I'm just rotating this ever so slightly each time and checking. Okay, so I went a little bit too far, so I'm going to push it back. So we're really close there. So at this point, I would tighten this down, and I would call that an acceptable pan balance. You really do want to make sure that your pan balance is very accurate if you're doing shots that are very aggressive, like running, chase shots, horseback riding, bicycle riding, motorcycle riding. Uh, it will make a difference in the quality of your footage to achieve excellent balance on all the axes. Um, so yeah, all three axes are balanced now and we're ready to move on to the next step. Thanks.